Hello there. Welcome to the last delinquence of Rollings High. A demo for a visual novel by Jago Games. It takes place in 1980s America, a town called Frank's Hollow. A town rife with secrets and mysteries. To be discovered. Now... We'll be joining friends and fellow students at Rollings High to finish our final week of senior year, but in that final week, things are going to get quite strange. Hello, dear player. Welcome. You are about to experience the lost delinquents of Rollings High. Oh. Not exactly a child-friendly game. No oh, jump scares, oh boy. Okay, be warned that there may be jump scares coming up. Swearing. M rating for mature audiences. Yours truly, Jago Games. Am I mature enough to continue? I mean, I like to think I am, but some days... Some days I laugh at silly pictures like a big E. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who, in the name of charity and goodwill, shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly the brother, his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down with great vengeance and furious anger those who would attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know thy name is the Lord, when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Oh. Somewhere in the dreamscape that shrouds the township of Fanks Hollow. Hmm. So I'm back in class, huh? Why would I dream about learning the same lessons again and again? <laughs> it's the same dream. It's I'm always here in my nightmares. It just always ends up happening. It's... Sometimes I'm not wearing any clothes. Sometimes I'm showing up late and everyone's laughing at me. Sometimes the door opens. Oh, good. I thought I might find you here. Uh, hello there. Oh, sweet. A Miss Bee dream. These are the best. Maybe I'll finally see a big donkey. <laughs> ah, yes, miss. Uh, why am I here again? Well, I think it's time for our, some of our extra special after-school lessons. Oh, no. Jackpot! Sounds awesome, miss. I can't wait. You're such a diligent student. It makes me happy. Your private lessons are the best, Miss B. Why don't we start off with revising your human anatomy notes? Focus on the female anatomy. Okay. Sounds perfect. Where should we start? We should start by exploring the functions of the reproductive system. Oh, boy. Let's begin by examining the most obvious external favor of reproductive organs. Oh, my. The breath. Wait, did you hear that? Uh, I'm sure it's nothing, miss. Please continue. No, there's something calling you. Something out there in the darkness. Dream Guardian sense it, too. Miss, what are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? I thought we were learning about press. The old ones! Atul Fatahan! Ai! They seek you out! Oh no. I can't risk being discovered. Miss, what are you talking about? I can't help you. I'm sorry. Uh... What? No. What's taking me away? Oh. 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 Whatever happens, remember to stay away from the... 
Oops, I probably should have advanced the text before that. Zoomed out. Stay away from the what, miss? Don't leave me like this. Uh, what in God's name is going on? This is supposed to be a good dream. This is supposed to be a sexy Miss B dream. Take me back to the <laughs> Priorities. I see our protagonist has his priorities in order. Oh. What is this? What happened to my special lesson? I've been dream swindled. Hmm. This looks like the woods outside town. It's quite relaxing standing here in the misty night air. Almost feels like I could float away on those shivering moonbeams. Maybe I will. Okay, this is all really pretty so far. Wait, what? Why am I at this place? Wind Peaks! That doesn't seem right. Was I here once before? Oh, here we go. Go into the mall. Oh, this feels bad. I don't want to go any further into this place. I don't like this. Oh, right. Why the heck's my dream taking taking me deeper into this creepy abandoned mall? It's not a fair trade. Instead, I could have been learning about Miss Beasby, but you should be here. Oh fuck! What was that voice? It screamed straight into my mind. They know where you are. They're coming for you. That's it. I went out of this fucked up dream! Run now! What the fuck?! Wake up! 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 Oh god! Hello there! Hello there! Oh god! I'm dying now! Goodbye! barely escaped that thing. I'm totally lost in this hellhole. I need to get out of this mall. Something appears again. Somehow I know. Make it outside to the moonlight. They won't be able to follow me. Uh oh. Is there a chance that's the exit? No, that's probably death. Whatever it is, it can't be worse than staying here. Hello there! Oh! Is this a creature? A person? A friend? An enemy? This aura is... tense. Radioactive, even. Oh shit! Wolves! An entire pack! This boy meat stinks of fear! Yes, brother! The scent of death clings to him. Indeed, brother, his heart dances like that of prey. Are you prey, boy? Indeed, are you prey? Chuff, chuff. Ha, ha. Wolves are talking straight into my mind. They're freaking laughing at me right now. Pray or no, you do not belong here, boy. Indeed, best you leave this place. The old ones come. We'll shift their attention from me and move down to the dark corner behind us, growling threateningly. Um, hi. You need to run from here. They rise again. I cannot stop them any longer. My pack and I will try to distract them while you flee. Wait, who are you? Why am I having these crazy dreams? There's no time. I must escape from here and then try to remember. Remember what we chose to forget. I've 
done what I can to open the way back to your back to your world. Run towards the light, and whatever you hear, do not look back. Go now. Oh fuck! There we go. Holy shit! <laughs> Sick! Oh, man! And that was just the introduction? Holy shit! That was wild! I am digging this, though. <laughs> I was I was half expecting to run towards the light, don't look back. Running towards the light, running towards the light. Oh, it's Miss B! Oh, hey! Welcome to the Lost Delinquents of Rollings High! Let's dive in, shall we? Simple things. I read that. As, I read that as aggressive self-voicing first, but <laughs> hello there. Very informative. Thank you. You think if a man sincerely repents for what he's done wrong, that he might get a chance, get to go back to the time that was happiest for him and live there forever? Would that be what heaven's like? Oh, the Green Mile. That would be nice. Monday. Digging the aesthetic, the sound of that first scene was phenomenal. All the graphics have been really clean, too. Oh my god! What the hell was I just dreaming? My heart is hammering. All shaky. It's going to take a while to rejoin reality. Ah. Uh, geez, I need to get my head together. Maybe I'm really starting to lose it. Mine is wandering all the time. I can never get enough sleep to feel energized. I feel like I have these really crazy dreams. I never remember them when I wake up. Do I have the mental stamina to face a new day? Memories of this reality gradually fade back into my mind. My name is Marty McFry. Oh, I live in the sleepy mountain town of Frank's Hollow, Marty McFry. I'm about to finish my final year at Rollings High School. This is the final week of classes. End of week's exams, and then prom night. The school life comes to a close, Things seem to be picking up speed real so fast. Clearly, Prom Night's gonna go wonderfully well, because we know from past experience with games like. with ga with high school related games that, uh. Prom Nights do not exactly turn out the best. <clears throat> prom Dreams? It's like a lifetime of activities jammed into one last hectic week. It's all a bit much for me lately. I really would like to just ignore everything and get a few more hours of sleep. That sound. Is someone trying to get in through my bedroom window? Window curtains start to move. I sit up in bed to get a better look at the intruder. I focus on a familiar face and I groan to myself. Ah! Marty! Hello there! Stop sleeping! Wake up already! Get up! You lazy waste of space! <laughs> Yo, good morning to you too, I guess. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting around for you? Uh, no, not really, because I was sleeping. <laughs> oh, good for you! But the rest of us actually have schedules to keep. I'm gonna be so late for my morning classes. Oh, that's a really interesting story, Meg. Haha, <laughs> nice story, May. By the way, didn't we talk about you using the doors instead of the windows? Hmm... It's uncool to just come scrambling into my bedroom window like some spider monkey creature. A what now? <laughs> oh, whatever. I told you already. <laughs> I don't like having to ask permission from your folks every single time I want to come to your room. Mom always makes a big show of going to check on you, and then I have to wait around and make small talk. Window is just faster and easier, okay? <laughs> Let's not make a big deal out of it. 
spoken like a true stalker. But seriously, how the hell did you manage to climb up here? Are you part, are you part orangutan or something? Ha 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 ha! You're hilarious. Now just get up! We're already super late because of you! Why aren't you awake already? Ugh. <laughs> On. Your. Beat! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? How do you summon such destructive energy this early in the morning? <laughs> 10 a.m. is not early, you moron! My energy is not destructive. Purely constructive. I just suplexed you out of your bed onto your feet. It's pro doctor. Oh my god, that was adorable. You may don't be gross. All right, that's it. Get up right now. Get up, 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 get up. Oh my god. Oh, I'll do what I want. Why should I do anything you say? I'll tell you why. Because if you don't start getting up right now. I might accidentally mention to your mom that I stumbled across a hidden folder on your computer. All these strange images inside. <laughs> that is exactly the sound effect to get over what you're talking about. What? Don't stoop for my private stuff. It's not funny, little weasel. <laughs> Why are you such an awful sneak? Oh, sh <laughs> oh shut up. Stop it, you little crybaby. And get off already. <laughs> Oh, you need to stop going through my private stuff. Like some kind of disgusting dumpster diver. I always catch you sifting through my trash. Why can't our friendship have any normal personal boundaries? Look into my eyes. <laughs> look into my eyes. Now tell me. Do I look like I can? No, I guess. Ah, wrong answer. <laughs> what a trick question you took. <laughs> that was that face. What is that face? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the correct answer is... Get up already. <laughs> oh, no. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm crying. <sighs> Fuck, dude. It's this Mayweather, it's my oldest childhood friend. We've known each other since kindergarten. That's why she thinks she has free reign to take these liberties with my daily schedule. We really have been through a lot of weird stuff together as we grew up. She's always had an erratic personality. These past few months, had her, her antics have been getting worse, if that's even possible. She seems to be growing more volatile every day. I honestly don't know what to expect from her anymore. <laughs> I do my best to keep her behaving normal around others. To protect, my, protect myself from physical, mental, and emotional harm. There's only so much one person can accomplish. Okay, okay. I'll get up. Enough with, the, all, enough with all the threats and theatrics. You win. Are you happy now? You finally understand that resistance is futile. Good. Yeah, yeah, just give me a minute to get my brain working. I slowly shuffle my half-asleep body out from under the unwashed bed sheets. Whoa! <laughs> what? Marty! You're barely dressed! Put some clothes on! For God's sake! You hopeless pervert! You're the freak who breaks into my room! Let's get out of here! Let me get changed! Fine, but you better hurry up. Get out! I'll see you downstairs. Remember, I'll be timing you. Get out! <laughs> oh god. Finally, the terror is temporarily over. I have my freedom. What should I do with it? <sighs> Probably actually is timing me, little monster. Oh fuck, explanation. I wasn't expecting this. Well.
Okay. Uh, clothes. I have obtained clothes. Yeah, I'm too filthy to just put on clothing. I need to shower. All right. Shower it is. Where is shower? Light. Hello there. Computer. Turn on. All right. Push buttons. I can't. Nope. Good night, computer. All right. Bye. turn our computer on, we just turn the monitor on. Alright, what's this way? Hat? Oh my god. <laughs> this is literally a house explanation. Holy shit, this fucking bathtub. Where's the shower? Oh, there's the shower. Alright. All right. Damn, it doesn't quite like a hot shower. Wash away that nightmare sweat. Okay, I feel ready to face another day now. Starting my finals with me, finals week with bad breath. Gotta polish these pearly whites. Hmm, I really should have thought more. That's what they tell you. All right, what else can we do? Huh? No, I'm going out the house into the house covered with water. Do it. Do it, Marty. Do it, Marty. Okay, fine. Dry off. Ah, that feels good. Nice, clean, and dry. Bye. All right, Marty. Why the hell are you taking so long? Hi. Eh. Blue-haired beast is growing impatient. Or do you go downstairs wrapped in a wet towel? To make your friend suffer, naturally. I got my house right now. Okay. Back to my room. Thank you, Arrow. Whoa, okay. Eh? I don't have any really don't have anything clean enough to wear except this. So just have to do for today. Okay, I think I'm ready to head downstairs. Shut up! Oh, damn. Okay, what can we do? Let us just go, then. Hat? Nope. Alright. Heading downstairs, then. Oh. Finally! What the heck is that t-shirt you're wearing? What? It's aesthetic! Never mind, let's move like we've got a purpose! This is the familiar footpath we've been walking to high school every day for the past six years. Wow, time really has flown. Where did those years go? It's a junior-senior eye thing? A bit crazy to think that in a, in a few short months we're supposed to go out into the world. Marty! Get jobs. Go to college. Marty! Behave all grown up. Hey, deaf boy! Stop escaping to your inner clown world. <laughs> I was talking to you just now. You rude person. Pay me attention! <laughs> Why are you always going to give me such a hard time? Oh, you can't say no to that face. What are you talking about? I am not giving you a hard time. You freaking wimp. I'm just concerned about you. <laughs> oh yeah, why's that? I worry that without my wise guidance, you will be headed straight down a bad path in life. I'm getting more and more lost in your pointless all oh, day now. You seem to be getting worse each passing week. You used to have social skills. Now you're just this TV junkie. Honestly, sad to watch. Uh huh? Most of the time when we're together, it's like you totally space out and aren't even really here. For instance, right now, you've been completely ignoring your beautiful walking companion. It's just rude. <laughs> Why wouldn't you give me those options? Troll. Troll. Wait! You tell me that. 
that all this time, I had a beautiful walking companion? I never knew. Where is she hiding? Oh, shut up. You potato brain pillow abuser. Waiting for my beautiful walking partner to arrive. Ah! <laughs> First, you made me late to class again because you never set an alarm. You stay up all night watching those weird Japanese cartoons. It's anime, me. They're actually called anime. I don't care! Stop interrupting me! What am I to you? Just your personalized wake up service? Hey, I never asked you. Don't interrupt. Me! <laughs> Game over. But, uh, as I was saying, you don't even have the manners to keep up a friendly conversation as we walk. We're supposed to be best friends. It really feels like you just can't be bothered with me lately. Oh. Hmm. Ah. This might explain her overly erratic behavior recently. I may have been spacing out too much. She does have a super needy side to her. I guess I have been focused on myself a lot lately. Poke the bear! Oh no. We'll be nice. Apologize. Now that you put it like that. Maybe I've been off in my own world a bit too much lately. I haven't been, I haven't been the best friend you deserve. I'm sorry, Mei Mei. Uh, uh, hey! Why are you calling me that all of a sudden? You haven't used those nicknames in years. Yeah, weird. It's like you only remembered it just now. Why did we ever stop using our nicknames? I guess we stopped because it was becoming embarrassing. Oh. I mean, I think we were already getting teased about it. And we decided together to act more grown up in front of our friends. <laughs> we had friends?! Just talking about it brings back these cloudy memories of elementary school. Remember when we used to be the bosses of our neighborhood gang? Organize all these adventure quests in the woods behind our street. Me and all the other kids used to call you Mei Mei. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, now I remember. You and, me, you and me used to run a tight ship. We'd be ruthless with any kids who attempted insubordination. Yeah, you were about you were as bossy back then as you are now. Remember the nickname <laughs> that everyone would call you that stupid nickname. El Capitano. Uh, El Capitano. Yeah, now I remember. Oh gosh, it's been so long. How did I even get that stupid nickname? Because you were always leading those pointless expeditions. Like you were off to discover some secret kingdom in the rat, rat infested woods outside of town. It forced all of us to come along. <laughs> I really must have been annoying. How have you already forgotten how weird you were? Well, that applies to both of us. Guess we never really had a chance of being cool kids. Speak for yourself, I could have switched to the cool group any time I wanted. But unfortunately, I'm stuck with taking care of deadbeats like you. And to be honest, it was kind of like going on our pointless adventures to nowhere. It would be fun. But when you put it like that, it was a total waste of time. It was fun going on them with you. <laughs> we, were so, we were so easily amused back then. She's dropping hints, Marty. Hey, Marty. Yeah? Do you ever find it weird that our memories of elementary school are all kind of jumbled? Well, that's ominous as fuck out of, no out of the blue. Uh, I guess I never really thought about it. Yeah, me neither. Just talking about dumb stuff like this can kind of fade back into my mind. I guess that kind of, that's just how old memories work. They never really go away. They just fade a little. Uh-huh. Yeah. Faded. Lately, it feels like the colors are coming back coming back more, you know? Kind of nice. And sometimes it also makes me sad sometimes. It, just that feeling of saying goodbye to our childhood, I think it's normal to get a bit sad. Unless there's things that are strangely jumbled. Okay. Could just be, it could just be that. Hey, do you ever think about the old gang? What, the elementary school kids? Yeah, like if you really think hard about them. Can you remember their names? Their faces? Oh. Well, to be honest, I never really tried. When I think about it. Hmm. This is really bothering her, isn't it? No. 
can't. It's weird. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Marty, do you ever get this feeling? Hmm? You know what? It's probably nothing. Forget it. What were you get? Wait, what were you gonna say? Come on, we're super late. We need to hustle. So these stabbing out of her worried thoughts, she forces me into a jog towards school. We only got like five feet from home. Rawlings High School for the Gifted. Both running towards the school gates. There's no one out here, as all the classes are in session. Suddenly a small figure comes hurtling around the corner, also running at full speed. While rushing towards the same opening in the gates. By the time we notice each other, it's already too late to change course. Wham! Oh, my head! Ah! Oh, hello there. Ugh. It's like all three of us managed to headbutt each other. Collectively. Triple headbutt. You! You idiot! Why don't you look where you're going? Excuse me? Hey, hey, it was all an accident. Let's not blame each other. Is everybody okay? I think I'll be fine. I'll probably have a massive lump with either, though. I'll live. It'll take more than some someone her size to inflict serious damage. How about you? Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch, really. Uh-oh. Oh, thank goodness. Sorry to ask this, but I don't remember your name. That's uh, Marty. I don't think I know yours, either. Oh, my name's Ellie. It's, my to me it's nice to meet you, Mar- And I'm May! Uh, okay. Nice to meet you both, I guess. <laughs> hey, why don't I know you? I recognize every student from this school. Are you new or something? Uh, 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 no, not exactly. What does that mean? Are you a student here or not? It's a yes or no question. <laughs> there's, no, there's no need to interrogate her, May. I'm sure Ellie's enrolled here. Not some kind of imposter student, right? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Cool, are you a senior like us? Yes, I am. Really looking forward to this finals this week. This finals week? It'll be so much fun. It'll be a lot more if I didn't spend my morning dealing with idiots. Sorry, what did you say? She seemed really suspiciously specific about the whole, uh, uh, imposter student deal, you know? Oh, nothing. I just said it's so much fun dealing with special needs children. What is that supposed to mean? Sorry, Ellie, just ignore her odd jokes. Poor Bay here is suffering from a chronic mood control disorder. Oh, what now? Oh, I'm so sorry. That actually makes a lot of sense. Wait, what? So, why were you running, Ellie? Are you tardy like us? Ah! Oh no! I'm sorry to do this, but I just remembered something very important. I've got to run! It's really nice to meet you, Marty. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Oh, wait! Jess is off surprisingly fast into the school grounds. Damn it. I wanted to ask more about her. Like, what classes she's taking? Is she single? Oh, what the hell? Am I invisible? Hmm. What are you all huffy about? You're talking to cute girls in front of me. Hmm. She was a total weirdo! It's a pretty funny statement coming from the biggest weird root gay guy I know. Uh, well, the whole situation was weird, I guess. I wonder if we'll be sharing any classes with her this, uh, this final week. Huh? What do you suddenly care? Oh crap, speaking of classes, we're ridiculously late! Gotta go! And with that, I'm dragged mercilessly towards the homeroom building. We are very much in the mind of a high school senior. That That is my thoughts about all of the dialogue we've seen so far. We managed to sneak in while our homeroom teacher, Mr. Lobley, is distracted. Me and May stealthily creep to the back of the classroom and try and draw as little attention to ourselves as possible. Whoa! Good to see you two decide to make Monday a half day. This absolute doofus is Tyler Jenkins. He's one of our terminally hopeless friends. Our group is known around school as the Deadbeats. He exists somewhere in purgatory between the math nerds and the band freaks in terms of social hierarchy. Tyler has been part of the Deadbeat since junior year, when me and May basically adopted him out of pity. He's a socially inept dope who loves to play video games and also has a taste for sci-fi movies and obscure anime. So sadly, I guess a friendship between us was inevitable. As a bonus, at least he takes a lot of May's crap, which saves me from guess, which saves me from some additional pain and torment. Shh. 
Yeah, we're trying to be sneaky here. Eh, Mr. Loudly won't care. We could probably start World War III in here and he wouldn't notice. As long as he still gets his allotted hourly cigarette breaks. Well, that may be factually accurate. I'd rather not take the chance that today's the day he starts giving a crap about his job. Weird things happen in finals week. People don't behave the way they normally would throughout the year. But seriously, you two, what the heck is your excuse for being this late? Did you lose track of time while sharing your morning bubble bath? Ha! <laughs> well, I did actually have to force him to get up and take a shower like a real human. Oh, I bet that was a joyous occasion. No less an interesting start to the day. Just imagine encountering an enraged honey enraged honey badger in your bedroom. Both of you need to shut the hell up before bad things happen to you. And stop comparing me to assorted animals! That's right. I forgot you only, like, you only like being compared to a specific species of monkey. Well, whatever freakiness went on this morning, you guys need to keep it together. This week has so much stuff jammed into it, you can't afford to be skipping classes. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Duly noted. Yeah, shut up, Dad. Now give me your notes. I need to see what I missed. You know, <laughs> I sometimes I feel like this is a very one-sided friendship. Gimme! Gimme! He's very demanding. We end up taking desks next to Tyler and settling in to finish the morning classes. Why to school that doesn't have to be so freaking boring? It's not that Mr. Lobley has obviously given up on life and is a broken zombie of a teacher. As he leaves the room on fake errands to smoke cigarettes, we can all chat for a few minutes. But finally the morning lesson ends as the lunch bell sounds. I really need to think about how I'm going to spend this final week at school. Every decision I make could be crucial to my future happiness. Can't waste any more any of my precious tough, precious free time. I sit pondering on how best to spend my lunch break. Tyler leans over and pulls something out of his school bag. Hey, check this out! It's a mini boombox. I got mail ordered yes. I got mail ordered. It arrived yesterday. He slides a cassette tape into a little machine and hits play. Oh fuck! What the heck is this music? Jeez, it is catchy though. Where'd you get this music? Sketch gave it to me. He said it was from his private Eurovision collection. <laughs> I have to admit, the saxophone solo is pretty ballsy. And that's freaking commitment to an instrumental solo! <laughs> yeah, you could really steal the show with a performance like this. Just listen to the confidence and clarity of the notes. <laughs> that's panache! The way he dominates that woodwind and makes this bitch! <laughs> I'll admit, you found a keeper with this track, Tyler. <laughs> they know. Yeah, sketch sometimes is good stuff. Weird, but good. <laughs> Maze lost her mind. She does this sometimes with certain songs. Uh, uh, we disconnect from her surroundings. Oh, uh, oh hello there. Looks like her antics have, attra have attracted the attention of the class rep, April. Thankfully, most of our other classmates have already left before we started this bizarre dance-off. April always hangs around in the lunch breaks, trying to start conversation with us. Oh, seems like she's having fun. It almost seems like she wants to join the deadbeats. But that would literally be madness. It would be like volunteering to go to prison because you have no hobbies. <laughs> Yet here she is again. Looks like she's pretty much pretty into the music, too. Hey, you guys! What kind of music is this? It's super catchy! It's Euro Trash! Yeah, it's high level Euro Trash with a bit of sax thrown in for seasoning. That's so cool! What's Euro Trash? No one invited you to come. No one, <laughs> no one invited you to come join us, April! Stop killing the vibe with your dumbass questions! Hey, she just wants to have fun! Y'all look like you have seven so much fun I couldn't resist! More than Mary in a dance off, right, boys? Oh god. Correcto mundo. This is known. Fine, whatever, just stop asking noob questions. Just shut up and let the sex pour through your soul. Yeah! Sounds fun. <laughs> the writing's on the wall. I can see where this is going. The lunchtime spent doing bizarre stuff with the deadbeats. Remember those choices I was thinking over? This is really how I'm going to spend my finals week. It's up to me, right now. What will I do? Ah, mm. 
<laughs> They're just going to dance off behind me. Don't mind them. They're still doing their own thing. Let's do our own thing. Start taking toward the exit while everybody's distracted with this dance badness. Hey, Marty! Where do you think you're going? Busted. Uh, I just have a few hours to run during lunch. Hogwash! You have no errands! You have no life, boy! I know your entire schedule! That's disturbing. Everything I do, I gotta shoot off the- I gotta shoot off for a little bit. Uh, uh, no way. You're staying right here with us, mister. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, May. Run! I'm giving any warning, we get to ask for the exit! Wait, you doofus! Hey, man, do you seriously run out on us? Ready, wait! I see into the hallway. She's, been, she's barely managing to slam the door on May as she charges after me. I will hunt you down, you dog! Oh god. There's no place in school I cannot track you! I run like the wind. I'm a gazelle. Being hunted by an enraged honey badger. Mahardy! Actually, this sounds a pursuit and fade off into the distance somewhere behind me. This act of defiance will clearly have consequences. They will, they will remember this. At least I have the freedom to try something new. Most definitely get caught if I go to the cafeteria now. There's some places I can explore. Hmm. Oh, we can't go to Lincoln. We gotta stay in school. Go to the library. It's so quiet in here. Wait, I'm not alone. Hello there. Hello, can I help you? Wait a second, I think I know this girl. Team math nerds. My name is Claudia Carrolls. I've barely spoken to her throughout all of high school. She's one of those uber nerds who takes special classes and doesn't mix much with students like me. I don't really see her socializing with other kids at all. Pretty sure she's got a reputation as being a bit of an eccentric loner. Uh-oh, she's getting nervous just by me watching her and introducing her. If the teachers let her do what she wants, because her grades are, like, best in the state or something. So the library must be her lunchtime sanctuary. I've just come barging in here. She's looking quite mad, actually. Getting a good look up close, she's pretty darn cute for a bookworm. Uh oh, she heard you. As I said, can I help you? Ah, uh, she doesn't look impressed. I, she didn't catch me staring just now. I have a feeling she did, though. Oh, hi. Well, you know, I'm just here to enjoy the books and stuff. Uh, huh? It's going to be somewhat disbelievingly. What kind of books are you looking for? I know your requirements, and I can point you in the right direction. What is she, a part-time assistant librarian or something? With her reputation, I wouldn't be surprised. Sure, I could use some help. Yeah, some advice would be nice. I can help. So try to specify what text you're looking for. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm looking for... Trying to make us look convincing. If you share your normal taste, she's going to think you're a mental slowpoke. Uh... Study stuff. Study stuff. Uh, you'll need to be more specific for you to be able to provide relevant guidance. Fuck, this is a bad choice. Why would I fake an interest in study? Am I so desperate to impress her? English. Uh, okay, the English section encompasses sections A1 through to B17. Uh, great, just lead the way. Dev over! <laughs> Bye. Uh, uh, is there a non non demonetized uh, soundtrack? <laughs> okay, well. Give up, is this futile? Oh uh, well, maybe my errands can wait for now. Yeah, sure, your imaginary errands can wait. Okay, well, isn't this just... Isn't this enough insanity for one lunch break? Yeah, it's a good test run for the boombox, though. Really cool, guys. That was so much fun. I listened. I danced. I conquered. I am satisfied. 
So, time for some food, yeah? Ah, the eternal question presents itself. We're taking the crap on offer in the cafeteria. Splurge out at the diner. Cheap and awful versus pricey and delicious. Man, I wish I wasn't so broke. Because you waste all your money at the arcade, you idiot. Uh, hey, if y'all are short on cash, and I can treat us to lunch at the diner. That's very generous, April. You really don't have to do that. Oh, I don't mind. It's sort of a gesture of goodwill to start off our final week together. Mm, who even said you were invited, April? Oh, sorry, I just kind of assumed. I mean, we're all hungry and it's lunchtime, so it would be a shame to eat alone. I'm down. Whether it's cafeteria trash or those super tasty burgers at the diner. But you, Marty? Are you fine with me treating you? Ah, an introduction. April is class rep and all-around high achiever. Oh no. Oh no. She's adorable. Well, don't let that put you off. She's actually seems to be a nice girl. I have absolutely no clue why she wants to hang around with us. With our little gang of gremlins, but, uh... Me and Tyler are no losers. May actually has more of a high profile due to her sporting achievements. But then again, May really doesn't seem to enjoy April hanging out with us for some reason. Insert May glaring in the background. <laughs> Staring daggers at April. In fact, that, in fact, that expression on April's face makes it look like that's exactly what May's doing right now. Staring daggers through her. Regardless, April makes it pretty clear that she's not giving up on us and is always willing, always making excuses to chat. Whether it's about classwork, school events, or just asking about our interests. With past year, she's been really helpful, getting me out of some tough spots with my studies. Pretty sure last year she was a part of the Cool Girls group. But then some drama happened and she stopped socializing with them. Oh! I'm totally out of the loop with all the school gossip and politics, so I don't really know the details. Evil seems like a cool chick, so it's a shame I don't know her better. Guess I always have this final week to find out more about her. So all that be for lunch. Humble cafeteria will be fine. Early free fruit is a no-brainer. Well, that, well, there's that confusion cleared up. Let's get going. Yeah, free burgers. Mm. May is pissed. Franks. A few blocks away from the school gates is a little diner called Franks. Popular haunt for students who want to get out of school on lunch breaks where the day is over. I wouldn't say we're regulars here, it's usually the territory of the cooler seniors. When it's free food and it's your last week of high school, then why not? We get inside and begin searching for any available booths to sit in. Most are already taken by students smart enough to not spend half their lunch break dancing to Euro Trash. As we already as you look around for a free space, a girl's voice calls out. April? Oh, hey, yes, Samantha. What's up? I was just surprised to see you in here. Oh, well, you know. Last week of school, thought I'd try something different. Yeah, but the boys have invited you here so many times, and you always said no. Haha, <laughs> really? I don't remember that. Anyway, we're here now. It's my friends from homeroom class. Oh, of course. Sorry, my manners are awful. Hi there, mate. Good to see you outside of a gym class. Yeah, hey, hey. And you're Tyler, right? Yep, that's me. <sighs> she, she, she knows my name. <laughs> and you must be Marty. May's boyfriend, right? <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh no, you're so you're so confused. Marty and May are best friends, is all. They're definitely not an item. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stabbing you right now. I have a mouth and I can speak for myself, April. Whoops, I'm so sorry. My mistake. I see you two together all the time and I just assumed. It's fine. Let's just move on already. I'm such an idiot. It's fine, really. So you here with the whole gang? Uh, yeah, we were actually just about to leave. What's the hold up, Sammy? Hey, I'm just chatting with April and her friends. Oh. April. So you never come when we were nice enough to invite you, but now you're dragging kids like these in here. Wait a second, Sil- Nice to see you too, Sylvia. These are my friends, May, Tyler, and Mar- This is Sammy. I don't have time to waste on all this. Chaz is doing a keg run before afternoon classes start. You still want to live back to school, we're leaving now. 
Ah, uh, okay, I guess. Just give me a minute and I'll meet, up, meet you guys out front. I'm serious. We keep us waiting. We'll be walking back. See ya. Sylvia struts out of the diner, ignoring us all. <laughs> wow, Sylvia is still a total bitch. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. Please try not to take her too seriously. I think Finals Week is stressing her out. She isn't usually that rude. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. It's okay. You're not responsible for her behavior, Samantha. Thanks. Hey, we should try to make some of the time this week and hang out. It'd be like old times. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. It was really nice chatting, but you better run off. You better run or you'll miss your ride. Okay, nice to see you all. Catch you back at school. Samantha leaves. Well, this just got awkward. She really has poor taste in friends. Hey, April. Didn't you just be pals with all of them? Ah, it's kind of a long, boring story. But Samantha's a really nice person. She had the same can't be said by Sylvia. Looks so nice on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia takes some getting used to. So, lunch anyone? Because I'm starving. Affirmative. It's your thing. Good to see you haven't lost track of the mission objective, Marty. You find a booth and sit down to order food. So April is secretly an absolute nerd. Oh! Booth view! Okay, let's order some grub. I'm actually starving. My stomach is literally eating itself, tying itself in knots, and doing backflips. Hmm, what to choose? Oh my god. Bacon and tomato. Three to three day. Oh, wow. Ham salad and egg salad. Nice. Pressed ham. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh my god. We get, oh my god, we get to pick! We get choices! This is too much. This is too much power, Jago. Super Lux ham sandwich. Baked ham. Sliced very thin and snacked high on plain bread. Toast on hard roll. Clearly, what, clearly what a band is split for lunch, but uh, going by what actually interests me. Oh, what? Uh, oh, was that a lie? <laughs> we just use that to explore the menu. Oh, no, okay, that does give us options. Milkshake. Juice. Coffee. Nerds. Only nerds get coffee, Marty. Boinger. Oh, wow, okay. I'm going to order everything off the menu. Thank you so much, Matt. April. Milkshake. Sunday. We just comes over to take our order. Can I... <laughs> Holy shit, we're going wild. Can I please have a burger, then a drink of milkshake, and for dessert a Sunday? Thanks. What the hell, Marty? Are you, like, five years old? What? Ordering milkshakes since grade school? Yeah, so? Your teeth are gonna rot out of your head. Thanks so much for the advice, Mom. The burgers here are the best. Indeed, this is known. I don't know what it is. I like the sauce, the patties, the bread, it's just so good. Probably the special mystery meat. <laughs> Do not disrespect the temple of burger. Filthy non-believer. Mmm, Sundays are my favorite dessert. Same here. Sundays are gross. Eh, why? Oh, that gooey, sticky ice cream. Just yuck. Because April likes him. April clearly likes Marty. Oh, I guess I never thought of it like that. I ignore her, April. May is proud because she tries to eat it with her hand. Oh. <laughs> Hilarious. You should do stand-up, Marty. You should end the work in progress demo. Thanks so much for playing. Hopefully I successfully muted the uh, audio coming out when that happened. Might just splice that... Might just splice that muted portion in. Just cause... I don't want to get obviously copyright striked. Very definitely going to be copyright claimed, but... Okay, 
I think that's I think that's about it for the lost delinquents of Rollings High. I mean, uh, wow, that was fun. I'm gonna say we are very. Uh, it's we're certainly high school. We're certainly we're certainly a high school senior. I'm saying it looks like the demo doesn't really get much further into the whole supernatural aspect of things, which is going to be interesting to see develop as the week goes on. But then again, then again, we literally only got halfway through the first day of the week, so there's plenty of time for that to come. That that opening nightmare definitely sold me on the supernatural side of it. They dropped a few hints with uh, talking about our old memories and the bit at the end of the intro telling Marty to remember what everyone chose to forget. So there's, uh, there were a few hints going on about more to come. I'm interested to see where that goes. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? I will admit I do follow the creator on Twitter and I decided at some point I had to give this game a try. Just just seeing all the character designs that various screenshots and the like from Twitter. I, that that was enough to sell me. The sound so far has been fantastic. I definitely want to avoid airing any of the uh, blatantly stuff that YouTube will probably object to, but other than that, that was a wild time. Very interested to see how our character relationships develop. We appear to have obtained a new friend. At least in the route where we stay and ja jam out to the jazz music. Which will hopefully only be copyright claimed. But, yes. We will see. We've developed a new... We have met a new friend. Quite obviously, April does not get along with May, or a May does not get along with April, so to speak. Jealousy, being one of the popular co the pop the popular kids. Uh, we don't know. It's very obvious that there's uh, also <laughs> a certain. Uh, thing that May is looking for out of our friendship. Or, well, at least it seemed obvious to me. Maybe I misread something, but it's very clear that she's... Well, we'll see. I don't want to speculate too much on relationships, but... <laughs> I mean, what else can I say? That's... That was a bl that was a blast. And I'm looking forward to more. So until then. Until then. Stay classy. <laughs>